Now I'm going to show you how we do a butt joint here with this HTS 735 aluminum welding rod from aluminum-weld.com. I V'd out one side, I V'd out the other side. I'm going to clamp them both together with the steel backing here. We'll overfill it. I have my two pieces clamped together with a piece of steel backing. I'm going to heat, heat this up to 735 degrees. The rod will start melting. We will overfill this with rod and then we'll check the strength of it. Just remember to keep that rod out of the flame. You've got to have the aluminum. No, yeah. well, I've been heating this for about five minutes. The rod is now melted by the aluminum. You see that? Okay, I have reached 735 degrees. Now all I have to do is fill in this whole V with the rod. And notice I, don't know, I do not work the rod in or near the flame. Okay, I'll continue to add rod to this until I get it full. It takes the time, and once you get the rod working, you can raise that torch up just to maintain the temperature. Remember, this is a low temperature rod. It works at 700 or 500 degrees below the melting point of the aluminum. So you don't need a lot of heat. Raise, raise the torch up and you can take your time and make that repair. We've just overfilled it. Now we're going to let it cool. After it cools, we'll take a hammer to it and see how strong it is. This is HTS735 from aluminum-weld.com. Hey, we're back to our butt joint. Remember that? Let's take it apart. It's not pretty, but you can clean it up. I'm going to put it in the vise. Let's test it and see how strong this is. There's the back side of it, front side. All right, take a hammer to it. Let's see what happens. Now, how about that? Would you say it's seven to eight times stronger than aluminum? There's the back side of it. If applied properly, this is what you can expect for strength. Remember, aluminum-weld.com, HTS 735. Impressive.